Hey, what is up heroes and welcome to Coromon. This is a game that recently launched not too long ago and it's a Pokemon-like creature capturing RPG that looks incredible. Like, I love the pixel art style. I think it looks so cool and the Coromon in the game look so cute or just look so epic. Like, that little cutie on the right in the snowball, I want him on my team. He looks so adorable. But this is currently a demo and it's going to release later this year. I think Q2 is the estimate release date. I wasn't going to play it until then. But they recently said that after some deliberation, we found a way to transfer the most important data of your demo save file upon release. This includes your Coromon, quest progress, and items. So, what we're going to do is we're going to play until the end of the demo, and then once the full release comes out, we should be able to carry on this, like, save file onto the main game so we can keep playing and just, um, keep all our Coromon and everything, which would be really nice. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. In case you want to play, I'll leave a link in the description down below. It's on Steam. The demo is free, by the way, and I think it's also on Android and iOS. Uh, would you like to try out a quick demo battle before you start your adventure? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let's try this out. Oh, I like the music. That pit of bite. Oh, and we have a sliver pin. Dude, I love pixel art. I think it looks just so nice. But, uh, okay, fight. I have no idea what the typings are going to be like, so it's going to be kind of fun to figure out. Let's just go for this first. Okay, propeller punch. <laughs> oh, well, that did a lot of damage. Okay. I got knocked down with could move. Okay, this is not good. Uh, let's try this one. I love the animations for the moves. Ow. I hope we have more Coromon to use because we're going to get wrecked. So you're trapped. Uh, let's try this one. It missed, good. That increases my attack. And my defense. Okie dokie. I'm hoping I got more Coromon, otherwise, yeah, I'm gonna probably lose right here. Oh, that was dry, okay. So we got HP back. And face slap. Ow. <laughs> Sure, we got more. Okay. Aurora. Ooh, that's gonna be the evolution of that little like uh, snowball dude. Okay. Should we check our squad if we can? Only got the two. If I click on him, can I check the moves out? So, type is ice. Rarity rare. Uh, let's see. So we can check out the attacks and stuff. This has got frost chomp. Chomp the target with Icy Teeth has a 10% chance to freeze the target. And Glacier, Massive Glacier sweeps into the opposing team. has a 25% chance of freeze. Okay, we'll go for Glacier then. Ooh! Nice. Yeah, face slap. If we lose this, like, tutorial battle. Oh, did we just get confused? We might end up losing this battle. Okay, so it's got SP, so it's kind of like, um, oh, okay. Not great. <laughs> bit like, um, Temtem in the sense where, you know, that was a bit different from Pokemon where Pokemon you had PP, each move has, like, you know, you can use it, for example, I don't know, Focus Blast five times, unless you get a bit more PP, but, um, this game's gonna have SP, so all your moves collectively use the same stamina bar, and just doesn't matter where we put these, but you can put in different points. Ooh. That's going to be good, because if you think you're a Pokemon, well not, but your Coromon's like a, a decent attacker, then you can just put all your stats into attack and then into HP, then into speed. Okay, I like that. Okay, so the game is still in development. Current demo does not represent the quality of the final product. Like I said, the game, I think, is launching Q2 2020, which I assume would be between maybe, I don't know when Q2 would start. I think maybe it starts around April to July-ish, I would assume. Anyway, we're sleeping and someone's at our door. Sup? <laughs> Time to get up. Did you hear the doorbell? A package from Lux Solis was just arrived, or just delivered. Uh, why don't you come downstairs and we'll open it. Okie dokie. Quest started the prologue. I'm sure your application got accepted, honey. Get ready so we can go celebrate. I'm going to put something nice on for your big day. I'll try and remember. 
I'm gonna be going down at my birthday suit. Oh, okay. It's got character customization. Nice. All right. I'll go for that. And then how do I go down? So if I click that and then... Oh, okay. And then we can choose the color of our outfit. Ooh, there's a lot. Um, kind of liking that at the moment. Anything else? Ooh, maybe that. It's kind of nice. That or the other one? Hmm. Such a hard decision, man. <laughs> Such a hard decision. I think I'm going to go with... No, I'm going to go with the red. I'm going to go with the red. I do like that. Okay. Uh, don't wear glasses, so we'll just leave that. Haircut, all those different hairstyles. Ooh. Although I think this hairstyle is probably perfect. And then I have silver hair. And hats. Ooh. There's a lot of like customization. This is kind of cool. We get a little panda hat. Oh. <laughs> uh I don't know what I want. With the glasses on my head, I kind of look like one of my cool guys. I think I think I have the glass on the head. I'm a cool guy. I like to think I am. <laughs> you look great. I sure do. Enter your name. All right. Uh, let's. Uh. Ah. Okay. And Voltsy, there we go. Okay. And we're saved. Hey! <laughs> Love the little emojis. Right, anything to do with our PC? No time for games now. Oh man, it's always time for games. Ah, the pocket money I've been saving. Now it's the time to use it. Got 500 gold. Anything in the trash? Nothing but trash. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is Mum's bedroom. Better not go in. Yep, don't want to go in there. Alright, let's go check out this package out. Let's see what we got. Good morning. Oh, we speak in this. Sweet. How's it going? Good morning. You're looking sharp today. Hey. <laughs> the package is right over there on the dinner table. Okie dokie. Oh. Got a Lux phone. Okay. Huh? Why would they send over a phone? We already have one. Have you been living under a rock? This is a Lux phone, mum. There's probably a message on it. Let's have a look. Ah, a video message. Oh. Hello there, aspiring trainer. Thank you for your interest in joining Lux Solus. My name is Cypress, the founder of Lux... It is Solus, right? Lux Solus, I think. In this video, I'll give you a short introduction to what we do. For years, we have been studying the mysterious creatures in... Veloa called Koromom. What makes them who they are? Where do they come from? How many are there? They're just uh, some of the questions we try to answer. And to answer these, we've put together a skilled team of researchers over the years. A team which feels like a family. Together, we've already managed to accomplish great things. There's still more to discover. We've just set up a new research project to which you would make a great addition. So welcome to Lux Solace. We hope that we're going to write a new chapter in the great history of our proud organization. Together with you. We invite you to our campus tomorrow. Here, under the watchful eye of our supervisors. We we'll prepare you to become one of the best Coromon trainers. Once you arrive on the campus, please report to the receptionist. They will help you further. And don't forget to bring your new Lux phone. We can use it to keep in touch. Good luck. Hopefully we'll meet someday soon. Hey. Well, what did it say, Voltsy? Don't leave me hanging. Because I'm leaving. <laughs> you did it, Voltsy. I knew you could do it. I'm so happy for you. Did it say when you have to leave? Yeah, they, ex they expect me at Lux Solace campus tomorrow. So soon? Well, I guess that means we should use the rest of the day to celebrate together. Let's get breakfast at your favourite place. That sounds great. Come on. Thinking about it, I don't even have a favourite breakfast place in real life. It's like, no real good places where I live. But uh, the next day. Ooh. And the character designs, like, I like some of the outfits, man. I hope we can buy some more stuff in the future. Be really sweet, but looks like we made it in time. So here you are, Voltsy at the starting line of your own adventure. 
You're not my little Voltsy anymore. Look at you. All grown up and choosing your own path in life. I'm a little sad to see you go. And I'm also very proud of you. I know you're ready for this. Ever since you were little, you've been dreaming of becoming a Coromon trainer. Today, that day has finally come. Yes, it has. No, that's not our train, I don't think. But that's why I got you this present to celebrate this big day. Here you go. I hope you like it. Ooh, running shoes. I do like it. Hey, gotta go fast. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. These will come in handy for sure. Glad to hear that, honey. Oh, look, I can see the train approaching. Hey. It's time. It's quite a small train. <laughs> Do you have everything you need? Your backpack, your ticket, clean underwear? Yeah, I think so. Don't worry, Mum. I'm old enough to take care of it myself. Oh, the train is about to depart. Better get on before it leaves without you. But first, a big hug. Aw. Sweet. Wait, we don't even have a backpack, do we? Goodbye, Mum. Aw. Goodbye, dear. This is so much more emotional than, like, the actual Pokemon games. Like, the Pokemon games are like, Oh, you're going on an adventure? Oh, see ya probably in a few years. Yep, bye. See ya, don't care. <laughs> Sometime later, the train arrives at Luxolis Campus, where every trainer begins. I guess that was their journey. That went a little bit too fast, but... Hey. <laughs> That's so emotional. Right. So we're at the campus. Love the music, man. <laughs> Move, please. Oh. Hi, right, Dexter. Goodbye, Dexter. <laughs> Alright, so we... Oh, I, I put the set into always run, so I'm um, not sure what the button is to sprint, but we're always going to sprint anyway. Oh, hi. Hello, new, uh, new trainer. Could you come over here for a minute? Okie dokie. With Joe Chem and Marcel, the developers of Coromon. Oh, hi. I got to pronounce your name right. <laughs> Thank you so much for trying out our demo. We hope you will enjoy it. There are some things you should know about. Okay. Please keep in mind that the game is not in its final state. We're constantly improving the game and adding new features. This demo, that means your Coromon will only be able to grow up to level 25. Okay. Your Coromon and quest progress will be transferred to the full game if you keep your save file, which we will be. There could still be parts of the game unfinished, so if you find anything unexpected, please let us know so we can fix it. Any feedback is appreciated, both positive and negative. If you like the game, please add it to your Steam wishlist. Well, that's all we had to say. Have fun and shine bright. Oh! <laughs> that's kind of cool. Yo, what's up? At Lux uh, Solace, we offer trainers the opportunity to customise their experience. Most trainers pick the normal difficulty, but selecting a higher difficulty could be worth the challenge. Oh, okay. Um, I think I'm going to keep it on normal difficulty just because typically I like to just, like when I record games, I like to just, you know, enjoy it and not make it too difficult because then if I've got to record and it's too difficult, it doesn't make me not want to record. So I'm just going to keep it on normal. Um, hello, my name is Voltsy. I was told to report here. Ah, Voltsy. Welcome to our wonderful organization. Thank you. Please give me one moment while I check your registration. Okie dokie. Aha. I see. Looks like we still need to know your preferred difficulty. With this, we can personalize your adventure. Most trainers use the normal difficulty, which I would recommend for the regular experience. But take this hand handbook and read it well. It explains the differences of each difficulty in detail. Okay. I'll read that first, but okay, I'll read it carefully. So, trainers looking for a challenge may consider using a difficulty other than normal difficulty. But what exactly does that entail? This book will explain all the rules for the different difficulties. If you still can't decide after reading this book, it's recommended that you choose the normal difficulty. Okay. So easy. This difficulty is for trainers who take it easy. Coromon will fully restore their HP when they level up. No more backtracking. That's actually sounds pretty cool. Shop items are 50% cheaper, so you can stock up on those healing items. Uh, when one of your Coromon faints, you don't need to use a special revive item. Instead, you can feed it any healing cake. Oh, okay. Uh, no more, this difficulty is for regular experience, no extra rules are applied. Hard, this difficulty is for trainers who want to challenge. If one of your Coromon faints, it will leave your squad. Oh, hidden, uh, hidden the call of the wild, it will return to its habitat. This basically makes it sound like a Nuzlocke. You can't escape from any battle, real trainers stand up for themselves. Oh, Jesus! Yeah, definitely not doing hard mode. <laughs> In, there's an insane difficulty? 
The most challenging difficulty, um, in addition to the rules of the hard difficulty, these rules also apply. You can't use any, um, I think this is recall, items forcing you to travel through Coromon habitats. You may only catch the first Coromon you encounter in each area, and if it faints or flees, you're out of luck. Okay, that's basically a Nuzlocke. So insane is a Nuzlocke mode. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, we're definitely going to play on normal. I mean, not going to lie, I do love the sound of easy, but we're going to play on normal mode. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, we are going to play on normal. Yep. 100%. Thank you. You are welcome. I made all the necessary adjustments for you. You can return to that computer at any time to let us know that you would like to lower your difficulty. Great. Here's your personal trainer card. It identifies you as an official Lux Solus trainer. Uh, please keep it with you at all times. Hey. Oh. Oh, I noticed you don't have a gauntlet or any Coromon yet. Don't you worry though. We're happy to provide those for you. Before that, could you tell me if you have followed a Lux Solus trainer course before? No, it's my first visit. Thank you. If you go to the Coromon lab and find Professor Larch, he would assist you with finding just the right Coromon. Have fun and shine bright. Whose coffee is this? I'm assuming that coffee just there is uh, this dude's, but there's also a cup right here. Someone left there like a piping hot coffee or tea or whatever. Motivation in a mug. <laughs> Should we just like use this computer? We can't. No. All right, let's go find Professor Larch. I want to see what the uh, the start of Coromon are like. Uh, ooh. So I, I love pixel art, man. I just think this looks so beautiful. I think like I would probably say pixel art is up there with my uh, favorite kind of art. Uh, you want some advice for a new trainer? Well, I once forgot where I had to go for my quest, but then I remembered I could check my logbook in the menu to see where I had to go. Remember that if you get lost? Okay, I will. That's actually really helpful. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the right way, but we'll go explore this building just in case. Oh, maybe it is the right way. Hello, can I help you? Hello, Peter. Hello, I'm here for my first Coromon. I'm supposed to get a gauntlet here, right? You're in the right place then. I have a gauntlet right here for you. Ooh, here you go. <laughs> gauntlet. Gonna put in the Coromon like the Infinity Stones and just snap all my opponents away. <laughs> but um, what is it for exactly? It's a vital tool for uh, wiping out half the universe, but in short, <laughs> Lux Solus trainers uh, use this to carry their Coromon with them. Why don't you go ahead and put it on? I like the idea of like a, of a gauntlet. That's actually really cool. Fits like a glove. <laughs> Professor L uh, Larch is further inside. To help you with your first Coromon. Shine bright. Guess that's a little like catchphrase for this game. Shine bright. I chose uh, Toruga or Toruga as my starter. I was surprised when it had a different color than most others. Oh, Larch said it had to do with its potential, and that it means my Toruga is a bit stronger than other or Toruga. Okay. So is that basically a shiny Coromon, or is that just like a strong, like she said it's stronger, so I'm guessing stronger ones would be a bit different color, but it might be also a shiny, I don't know. Picking your first Coromon is so difficult, I mean, once you pick your starter, you can't just swap it for another, another you know, it'll be your buddy for life. My test results help me a lot by recommending Cub Zero for me, and we'll, we get along great. Ooh, okay, so there's a um, questionnaire. Oh, sorry about that. Someone came to my door. But um, when my Nibblegar takes a hit at full HP, it suffers less damage. The fully rested trait is very useful. Ooh, be sure to know which trait your own Coromon have. Okie dokie. Yo, what's up? Ah, the next customer. How's it going? Come over here. Don't be shy now. Hello there. Welcome to Professor Larch's dating service. <laughs> that joke never gets old. I'm Professor Larch, and I'm in charge of this Coromon lab. This is your first day here, right? So that means you'll need a Coromon to get started. Here in my Coromon lab, I research Coromon and their compatibility with trainers. I can tell you this. It's very important to match new trainers with the right Coromon. Different Coromon personalities require a different approach from trainers. But don't worry, this machine behind me will help us find a Coromon which is compatible with you. Before we can uh, start the scan, however, I'll need to give us some measurements. Let me see. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Ready then? Yes, that's all I need for now. 
or enter in these parameters and then the machine will scan your brainwaves. With the data we collect, we can advise you on the best possible Coromon choice. Please step into the matching machine to start the analysis. Okie dokie, I think whatever the computer decides I'll choose, even if like I want a Coromon more than what it, like the, a different Coromon it, it suggests. I'm gonna go with the computer. All right, please don't move during the scan or you might lose an arm or two. <laughs> I'm starting the analysis, here we go. Okie dokie. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna ask you some questions. I'm gonna enter your answers into the machine as well. Please answer as honestly as you can for the best result. Question one. You encounter a wild Coromon. What is your first reaction? Hmm. My first reaction will be to comment on how it looks. I won't see what it does. Attack right away or try to capture it. It depends what it is. It's cute. And from the Coromon I've seen in this game so far, they're pretty cute. I would probably say try to capture it. I see. I would do that too. Question two. What is your motivation for, for becoming a Coromon trainer? I want to work with Coromon. I want to protect Velowers. Uh, or maybe it's a V. Velvers. I mean, it might be Velva. It looks like a U though. Not too sure. Um, environment. I want to become the best trainer. No, if it was like a little V, it would be a little like that. Yes, it's definitely you. So it's... Velour? I want to become the best trainer. Uh, I want to become the best trainer. That's some good motivation right there. Question three. Which of these three attack appeals the most? Toughen up fiery breath in a piece. Fiery breath, man. Not my favourite, but let's continue. Question four. Which of these colours appeal the most to you? Navy blue, arctic blue, or crimson red? Crimson red. Love crimson red. That's the same colour as my living room. Got a pretty cool living room there to be fair, but the final question, describe your ideal first date. Definitely not skydiving. Uh, mm. oh, so this is my ideal first date. Just thinking like, if I took Jasmine on a date, I think she'd probably prefer the museum tour more than a candlelit dinner. But this is for me, so I would, I would probably like a candlelit dinner. Depends what the food is, but if it's a nice, nice meal, I'll go with dinner. Ah, so romantic. All done. You can step out now. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Piece of cake. Good. Why don't you go stand over there and I'll tell you the test results. Okie dokie. Here are your options. The Fire Coromon Toruga. This Coromon is very strong and loves to battle. And can learn powerful moves. Yeah, so the um the free I think so that one in the middle is. It looks like the free Coromon on the title screen are the starters, but this Coromon has a high endurance in battles and can outlast most other Coromon. Oh it's so cute though! Uh find the ice Coromon Cub Zero. This Coromon has a jack of all trades, it's the perfect balance between off offense and defense. And now for the results of your analysis, please be Cub Zero. It's so cute. I feel like it's gonna be the fire one. Test results show one clear winner. Yeah, the Fire Coromon Taruga would be a good match for you. Oh. Why don't you take a closer look and pick the one you like most? Oh, dude. I do love this little dude. Details. He's so cute. Look at him. That's kind of... To you, that's really cute as well. I'm not the biggest lover of that. I mean, he's kind of adorable. Kind of got like a shark face to me, but... Seems a bit like mischievous, you know? He is kind of cute. But not as cute as that. But I'll go with the computer like I said I would. We're going with this dude. So with the attack focus, Taruga will be an unstoppable team. Let's pick him. Give it a nickname. I'm not going to give it a nickname so we can just like learn the Coromon names. Okay, great choice. I had a feeling that you would pick uh, Taruga. Before you head out, be sure to check which trait your Taruga has in the menu. Coromon vary in traits. How you fight your Taruga will greatly depend on which trait it has. Speaking of which, you must be arching to try out a battle with your new Coromon. I am. Oh, I know. There was just another trainer here. One moment. I'll give him a call on his Lux phone. Oh, it's got to be that Dexter guy, hasn't it? I think Dexter's going to be our rival. 
Oh. <laughs> okay, bye. He accepted your challenge. He'll be waiting for you at the training grounds. But before you go, take this. Ooh, a type manual. This manual shows the type effectiveness of the different Coromon types in uh, Veloa. Study it well, and in case you forget something, you can review the manual during battles. That's actually really helpful, actually, it really is. Now, once you go ahead to the training grounds, I'll catch up with you after I shut down my hardware. That's kind of good. I was going to say I'll probably take a picture of the um, the type manual to check what the um, types are, then I can just always refer to it, but if it's going to be in battle. That's actually really helpful. So, we have... Uh, oh, these are our skills. Uh, okay, it's got slam and cute pulls. What's our trait? Okay, so fruit is healthy. The Coromon restores 20% HP when consuming fruit. Vegetarian. Oh. Clearly this um this Coromon isn't made for me. <laughs> I'm not a vegetarian. He's going to hate seeing me eat meat. It's really cool you can also nickname your Coromon from here as well. That's really sweet. And then you got, uh, what was it? Ruby and Logbook? Ooh. Got, um... Quest completion, 8%. Is that from the demo? So we're 8% done with the demo, or is that just this quest we're on right now? It's got to be like, um, sure, the demo. I feel like the prologue can't be that long, can it? I don't know where the, um, he said the thing would be. Ah, there you go, type manual. So, normal is uh, weak to, I guess, that's poison. There's a little bit more damage to maybe dark type and does a bit of damage from. Oh, no. Damage damage from dark type is a bit strong. Okay, so we're a bit weak to that. Ghost type. Oh, it's ghost type. Okay. So, electric's strong against water. And weak to two types. Got sand type, fire, ice, water, magic, okay. Foul, heavy, air, poison, and cut. So we have a fire type currently, so we are strong against ice types, we're weak against water type, and um, wind. Is it air type? No, air type, yeah, not wind type. And then we take a little bit more damage from heavy types. Okay. Good to know. Right, so let's go to the to the yard so we can find this uh, this person wants to fight us. I'm assuming it's gonna be Dexter. R and D lab. Okay. Want to do field research on Wild Coromon? Super Professor Large is the best supervisor for me. He's an expert on Coromon, I can't Wait to go on an expedition with him. Sounds nice. Let's go check in here first. Got to do a little bit of exploring. Can we go? Oh, we can go in here. The essence collector is able to absorb some of the essence of a titan. It doesn't work on normal Coromon. They simply don't have enough essence to share. They only work on the powerful titans here in Veloa. Okay. Titans sound really cool. Work, work, work. Gotta work. No time for a break. Breaks are important though. You should always make time for some breaks. Please don't disturb me. I'm trying to concentrate. Okie dokie. Someone left there. Hot coffee again. Can I read this stuff? Can I read your book? Some drone of six glowing orbs. Okay. Is that a chest? Uh, maybe I can shut them down somehow? Maybe. Okay, I don't know how I can do that, but... I feel so tiny looking at the entire world. Thinking about it is actually with how small we are. It's crazy. Oh, yo, what's up? This will be my best invention ever. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, what's this? Fuck me, push that. Um, hi. The boss only allows a select few colleagues in the restricted lab. I'm still wondering what exactly they're doing in there. Some evil stuff. How much do you bet he's evil? <laughs> Whenever like some employees can't go to like a, a certain area in a um in a workplace, it usually means that person that's uh, locked it off is evil. Usually. Hello, trainer. You seem to be new in town. Here's some free coupons to help you on your way. Ooh, you can use them to get a discount on your next purchase in any of the other shops. Okay, sweet. 25% discount and 50% discount. Hey, use them wisely. 
Can I like hold on to him to like use him in the future, like to get something really strong, really cheap? But in turn, strong trainers enable us to go to go on dangerous and far away field expeditions. Ooh, nice. All right. So what do you sell in this shop here? Buy items. Uh, I'm gonna get a cake. Got a Lux Recall to get back. So that's like an escape rope. Plane spinner is uh, designed to uh, efficiently catch normal type Coromon. Okay, it's got different spinners to catch different types of Coromon. But there, it looks like there is an option for clothes. So different stores will sell different outfits for us. So we can customize our character later on, which is great. Actually loving that. Oh, it's a little um Benson block or so. Okay. Right. Let's go and check out the other building. Oh, this is gonna be like the um like the Pokemon Center, like the Coromon Center to get healed up. Sup. Welcome to the trainer hub. Would you like us to take care of your Coromons? Yes I would. One moment please. Hey. Sweet. up here I'm thinking this could be like maybe an online bit to trade Coromon oh hello I'm sorry we're not in business yet working hard to get our rebirth tanks operational rebirth tanks okay sounds interesting I was thinking maybe it'd be like a, a trade center or something but that seems completely off I always visit a trainer hub after adventuring for a while, not only to restore my chroma, but also to get some rest myself. Ooh, that's good. Hi. Uh, do you see that machine over there? It's the Coromon storage machine. Trainers can use it to store and retrieve their Coromon. It's very useful since your gauntlet can only hold up to six Coromon spinners at a time. Nice. Looks so cool with the gauntlet on our arm. I wonder if we can, like, um, upgrade the gauntlet at some point, like, get different colours. I mean, like, right now it looks really cool, it like, matches our hair and our outfit quite well. But if we can get, like, I don't know, some cool looking ones. But shine bright, that's uh, Lux uh, Solace's catchphrase. We're still getting used to it, though. Shine bright. Shine bright. Hey. <laughs> Wait, is that a chest? I think that could be a chest. Hey. Combi cake. Nice. I'm working on a new gadget, but I won't tell you anything about it. It's a secret. Oh, okay. Uh, there's two ways to go. Left or south. I'm gonna go left. Oh, this has gotta be it. Welcome to the training grounds where new trainers can hone their battle skills. Once in a while, the training grounds are used to host the arena competition. Competitors are placed in one of four tiers. Bronze, silver, gold, or platinum. New trainers start in the bronze tier. When defeating all of the competition in their tier, trainers will advance up to the next tier. Eventually, reaching platinum. Platinum ranked trainers can compete against each other to earn prestige and win valuable prizes. Your supervisor will inform you once a competition starts. Give it your best and aim for the sun. Hey, so you gotta be our arrival. Hey, are you the uh, one Larch called me about? Yes, I am. I'm Voltsy. Name's Dexter. I hope you can offer me a challenge, Larch. Offer me a challenge? Which starter were you matched with? I chose uh, Taruga. I see. You know, match for me and my Nibblegar. Oh. Ah, I see the two of you have already met. Good. Why don't you go ahead and take your places at the arena? Oh, you want to bet I'm no match for you? You're about to get wrecked, my dude. I'm ready. If you don't know what a skill does, you can hold down on the skill to see a detailed overview of it. Be sure to try it out. Good luck to um, good luck to both of you. Give it your all. Ready? And go. Alright, here we go. Love the, um, the arena field. It looks really nice. So how do I check? Ah, like that, you hold it down. So it's got slam and cute pose. The user strikes a cute pose, though, and defense you. Okay, so I'm gonna go for one cute pose. We are so tiny compared to him. I think that the, the smallness makes our little uh, Taruga look even more durable. Okay, we're fine, and we're gonna now go for some slams. Come on and slam! And welcome to the. Oh, it's Jan. Okay, we're fine. Mighty Roar does what? That was my attack. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Critical hit, let's go. Gonna go for another cute pose, lower your defense. 
Let's go for a mighty roll. Jump. Ow. Okay, one more slam should take you out. Nice! Critical hit as well. <laughs> Didn't need that crit, but it's always nice to get. 113 XP, let's go. And we grew level 6. Nice. No! Haha. <laughs> get wrecked. Well, we have a gold spinner. That's really cool. He is not happy about that. Well done, both of you. Why don't you come over here for a moment? That was a great battle to watch. You both seem to have made the right choice for your first Coromon. Larch, what will happen with my uh, Nibblegar now? Don't worry, Dexter. You can go to the trainer hub and they will take care of your Nibblegar there. And he's gone. At least he cares for his, um, his Coromon. Your Coromon got hurt as well, Boltsy. But luckily, your squad didn't faint. Here, you can restore some HP with the HP cake. Nice. Your Coromon also lost SP after using its skills in battle. For now, you can use this SP cake to restore some SP. Nice. You can check the opponent's SP as well by pressing on its name tag. Then you can see uh, some more useful info. Okay, I remember that. Good. When you're uh, going out on quests, you'll need a squad of strong Coromon to succeed. So you should expand your squad as soon as you can. My buddy Alda in the Spinner Test Center knows everything about catching Coromon. I have to get back to the lab now. Good luck out there and shine bright. So I'm guessing we want to head to the Spinner Test Center next? I'm not sure where that is. Was that potentially the R&D place where we're at? I'm going to quickly heal up though. Don't want to waste using the cake and stuff. Can hold on to that for a little bit. And there's Dexter just chilling. Sorry, I didn't mean to like absolutely wreck your, uh, your team too hard. <laughs> Have my Nibblegar restored back to full HP and SP. That's nice. Right, so let's try and find the uh, the dude. I feel like we're leaving though. Oh wait, no. Okay, Radiant Park. This might not be the right way to go. Um, found some money in the bin. Yo. Oh, trying to capture a Cormon, but they keep breaking out my spinners. Perhaps you could help me. Could you catch one for me? That would help me so much. Come back to me when you caught one. Any will do. Uh, come on, Jerome, focus. Remember what I taught you. We can a wild Cormon to increase your chance to capture it. Sup? Wild Cormon can jump out, jump out at you when walking in the grass, so be sure to have enough strong Cormon to protect yourself. Uh, let's grab this. Got one spinner, and two HP cakes, and an SP cake. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. I feel like I've got to find this, um, this dude first. So I'm going to run back. Maybe it's at the R&D lab? So I kind of feel like, from the sound of it, speak to this dude, he'll give us um, some spinners. Let me check the log. Oh, a little quest there. Okay, so... um. So I should speak to Professor Alda at the Spinner Test Center. Oh, there's two sides. Okay, it's got to be it then. Ah, I didn't realize there was two sides. Are you the dude? Wild Coromon live in grass in water and in caves. Be sure to have enough spinners if you want to catch some. Seems these doors won't open from the outside. Okay. Got different environments. Ooh, your hair looks cool. Hello there. Can I help you? Hello, I'm looking for Professor Elder. Ah, I forgot one of his appointments again. He's currently working in one of the grass areas with the door locked. He does that so he can work in peace. But one moment, let me unlock the door for you. Yeah, you can go see Elder now. Don't worry if he seems a little odd. He can be a bit... eccentric at times. <laughs> Okie dokie. This is the first one, wasn't it? Yo! Hello, you Professor Elder. I came here to get some spinners. Ah, our prodigy Volti, come in! Stop! It's dangerous to go into tall grass without proper preparation, silly. Let's start over. Welcome, welcome! You guessed correctly, I am Elder. I know everything there is to know about spinners, and I'll feed your brain with some of that knowledge too. Here, take some. Okay, thank you. These are spinners, but I guess you figured that out already. Eh, just a little bit. <laughs> Let's move on. Spinners are used to capture wild Coromon. Using them is as easy as throwing a rock. 
But if you lower a Coromon's HP, you will increase your success rate for catching immensely. Come, let's try it out on my assistant. <laughs> oh, don't be silly now. I'm taking. I'm talking about Paddy. My pad a bit. Humans don't fit in spinners. <laughs> Just give me a moment to adjust its settings if I can find him. That is. <laughs> From the side, it looks like he's got a really big head. <laughs> It's because it's like hairline. But there you are, Paddy. Now just turn this screw here. Put that line of code there. There, that should do it. Okay, Volta, you're up. Walk through the grass until you find my assistant. Then use a the spinner to catch Paddy. With Paddy's current settings, the chance of the spinner failing is just 0.0001%. I'm not moving, that's uh, the game moving for me. Oh, look at our face when you find an encounter. Oh. So let's go for a spinner. <laughs> I wonder if like someone who played this game gets unlucky enough to uh to not capture it. Be that 0.0001%. percent <laughs> Uh no. Is it going to stay on our team or is it, we're going to give it back? That's how it's done. Just remember that a with low HP is easy to catch. If you keep that in mind, you'll have a strong squad in no time. All thanks to Aldo and Paddy. <laughs> now you can report to your assigned supervisor. Your trainer card should say who it is. Alright, I'll check my trainer card. Here it is. It says my supervisor is Spruce. Professor Spruce? The big cheese himself. No need to worry. He's a nice person. That's just how he rolls. <laughs> You can find Spruce in the R&D lab, which is right next door. Shine bright! Okay, so, uh... Oh, stop! Almost forgot. I need Paddy back. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, are we gonna keep this, uh, Coromon? But, um... Seems not. Alright, good luck out there. Remember, Spruce in the R&D lab. See ya! Not if I see ya first. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I... Don't remember talking to Spruce. Might as well have spoken to Spruce. Are you Spruce? Nope, Donald. Okay. Uh, are you Spruce? I think he's somewhere in the back of the lab. Oh, okay, he's probably in that locked door. Or oh, you Spruce? I do, he's working in the restricted lab. One moment, I'll go get him for you. Okay. Or oh, whenever I said earlier, how like, sometimes restricted lab areas like, uh, usually bad people. Maybe our supervisor is actually a bad person. Or he might be a good person, who knows. <laughs> yes? Hello, are you my supervisor, Spruce? It's nice to meet you. I'm Voltsy. Ah, Voltsy, I've been expecting you. I'm Professor Spruce. Hope your time on the campus so far has been uh, educational. I've learned a lot already. I'm glad to hear that. Now it's time to put your talents to use out in the field. Come, we'll talk in my office. Sounds good. Oh, that was your office I came to earlier. So I'm just saying, Spruce, you left a coffee on the side. I'm Dexter. I was told to report to you. Ah, great timing. Yes, the two of you will be working with me. Come, we'll just head it for my office. Oh, of course my rival has the same supervisor as me. Just my luck. <laughs> Welcome to the R&D lab. You both uh, applied to be field trainers for Lux uh, Solus. Traveling around uh, Villa to gather data on Coromon. But you, should, but you showed such great motivation that I believe your talents would be better suited to a more challenging task. Instead, I want the two of you to work with me on Project Chimera. Together we will collect Titan Essences using our newly developed Essence Collector. You'll be the first trainers to use this Essence Collector in the field. Oh. Titan Essences? What are those? Titan Essences are embedded within Elemental Titans, creatures of immense power. Six of them are known to be in uh, Veloa. We want to extract the Titan Essence of each of these six Titans. We believe each Titan Essence holds great potential, so we want to investigate them. What will happen to the Titans if we extract their Titan Essences? Nothing at all. We already managed to test the Essence Collector on a single Titan. They possess so much Titan Essence that they will barely notice when we take some of it. It's like a mosquito bite for them. Wait, so you already have Titan Essence? Uh, we had one, yes. We had to test our prototype module, but it wasn't able to contain the Titan Essence for long. The current model doesn't have that problem. 
Our aim now is to have all six of them together. If we manage to get all six of them stored in a single essence, Collector, we believe we can discover their full potential. Oh, that just sounds like it's going to end up being some evil plot right there. I don't trust him. Spruce, I think he's the bad guy. Our theory is that the Titan Essence are much like the types of Coromon. Some are strong against one type and weak against another. If you mix them together in a squad, however, they balance each other out. I see, that makes sense. The first Titan you'll go to is... Voltgar, the Bender of Storms. Voltgar is located in the Power Tower ooh, at uh, Donut Island, where he guides thunderstorms towards the island. This dude sounds pretty cool. Be warned though, you'll probably have to defeat it in a battle before you'll be able to extract Titan Essence. Ah, the Titans. They are very strong creatures indeed. I got this. Let's go. Do you want to leave without the Essence Collector? Let me get them for you first. <laughs> Oh man, he is so evil. What we're doing is bad. All right, here you go. Okay, got the essence collector. And that's number two. Before you can use them, you need to get the module installed into your gauntlet. That's a precise task. There's only one person in Veloa who is able to work with that level of precision. His name is Perrin, a good friend of mine. He's working as blacksmith in Hayville. Perrin and blacksmith, got it. How do we get there? Hayville lies just beyond Radiant Park. Go east and then follow the road through the woods. When you have the module installed, go east again until you reach uh, Woodlow Harbour. There, a colleague of mine will take you to Donut Island. I'll contact you through your Lux phone if anything comes up. Good luck to both of you. Alright, I'm going to stock up on supplies in the shop. And I'm on my way. Please stay out of my way. Alright, jerk. So, quest started Project Chimera. We'll finish the, uh, the prologue. And we're starting Project Chimera. Okay. Well, I think this is probably a great place to end this episode off then. Next episode, we're we'll head east. Probably catch a crawl on the grass for that little side quest there. But um, yeah, really enjoying this game so far. Hope you guys are too. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.